was in year 10 when I got into ballroom and I was literally performing at the opera house, voguing down, and then in the morning I had an English exam. I was living this double life. I was really Hannah Montana. My teachers did not know at all. Like my teachers would see me with glitter on my face, like glue on the eyes and be like, what is wrong? I'm like, you don't understand, babe. Kia ora, my name is Jamaica Moana. I am the non-binary rapper, the voice of Down Under, and a community leader for the Australian ballroom scene. Leader, that is me, I've never been a follower, hater. I keep it real hot, cause that's the only way, cheater. So if you do the most, I'll easily say A ball is an event that is the utmost epitome of safety, of a space for queer people of colour, trans people of colour, and all of those under that umbrella. So if you do the most, I'll easily say see ya. Pretty much the queer Olympics with different categories, and everybody competes in their categories for prizes. It's more than a ball, it's like truly a life-saving night for these people. Because not everyone can express themselves daily, they don't have the blessing. Ballroom was created by Black and Latinx trans women about 1960s in the East Coast of America. It was the only place for queer people of colour and trans people of colour to express themselves freely. It had a lot of evolution throughout the years and it became slowly into a house ball culture where chosen families um, started coming into the space. So a lot of these people and kids within the community don't have the blessing to be close to their biological families and they started bringing these collectives to the balls to sort of rock up as a little family together and it was beyond, you know, it's not just a house. When they call their parent mother or father in the house, they mean it. You know, that's the only figure that they have in their life. Around the 1980s, Madonna came to a ball. So the staple moves of Vogue Femme is broken down into five different elements. So you have hands, hand performance, and then you have catwalk, duck walk, spins and dips, and floor performance. Everyone's thought Madonna started it, but all of those years and decades of culture was already thriving and present before Madonna's song Vogue came out. Are you gagged that Australian ballroom is birthed in Western Sydney? Then I, if I want to talk more about the scene here, the seed was planted around 2010 by an indigenous collective called House of Black Star. And then Benji Ra, she spent time in New York. Around 2015, she moved back to Sydney and with her knowledge, she really wanted to start the ballroom community here in Australia. I had the blessing to be able to see the growth of ballroom here right from the genesis where it started. Australian ballroom, put to the test. That is Australian ballroom, who will come next? I'll see, I'll see you, you at, at the, the West Ball. I'd like to introduce to y'all to Jamaica Moana and Xander Silky. How West Ball came about, Xander and I, we went to a fish and chip shop in Glenfield. We sat down and we started fleshing out the idea of what if we did a ball together? And we just thought, let's do it, let's dream big. From then, the partnership between Xander and I, both in community and supporting each other outside, all of it just collectively grew together. We did the first West Ball not with the idea of longevity. We wanted to just have an amazing night for one night. We never even knew West Ball 2 would be a thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's me. I'm a butterfly. Yeah, okay, VS wings. If I... And we just did the West Ball 4, so it must be working. <laughs> we created this ball to say that we exist and we belong here. Yeah. you'll see a plethora of different people from all walks of life walking these categories. And that's the pure beauty. Beauty doesn't lie within a binary or a societal norm. You know, we're like constantly breaking those barriers.
Growing up in Western Sydney has created a resilience that allows me to carry myself through this city very strongly. To be able to be a queer artist putting out rap is like going against the grain. You know, like being an individual that doesn't conform to a societal norm, that is a barrier in itself moving through Sydney. I'm always telling the next generation how to move through this city with safety, how to move through this city with power. Always walk through with your head held high, that's what it is. No matter what barrier we face, we need to be doing this right and make sure that we're never dropping the ball. I'm not just being this now and then going home and like hiding, I'm mean. Like I'd be walking through every Westfield like this. <laughs>